All right. Ooh, we need we need music. We need some music. Get that going. All right. How are y'all doing? Good. Hopefully good. If not, let's try and change all that. So shall we? Okay. So continuing the story of creating this ship, um, I gave it a lot of thought yesterday, and I think we we should start from scratch. <laughs> like I learned quite a bunch bunch of stuff while doing this one, and while it works, it's not quite good. There's a lot of problems with this, and one is one being it's just way too thick. We need to slim this down quite a lot, and. Um, the initial cargo. The initial this, this side, the initial cargo area that I envisioned was too large, and it's still kind of too large. And so I think what I want, the first thing I want to do is like bring this down by one floor. Now that'll make things harder for us to fit these guys in there, but that's okay. We should be okay in that regard. Um, so yeah, and then we'll also, also want to shave like the inner, like this wall, and then bring bring in, basically make it so that there's very little layer, right? Like instead of having a carbon composite layer, we'll just go straight to um, the steel. We can still have a framework that is carbon composite, but there shouldn't be walls and ceilings, floors to like encompass it because it makes it too fat too chunky and so that'll bring us in quite a lot um and also again i want to bring down the floor instead of having it being a triple tier or double tier sorry it's two tiers but instead of having two different levels like this where you step down into the bridge i mean i still do like this but i want it to be one down from the beginning yeah also want to kind of redo this area, although this current layout's okay. Um, but instead of undoing any of this, we'll just we'll just start from scratch. Um, I think it'll be easier that way. So let's pop this over, and let's actually put the cargo grid down first. And we're gonna put a steel floor because. We're no longer going to have a carbon composite layer wrapped around everything. And this is going to be pretty much to the outside, or to the uh, to the bottom. So if, if this gets shot through, that's it. Like we don't have an extra the extra security of a structural layer. Uh, for wife. So all we need is a 5x5 five five grid. This should be plenty. Oops. Keep forgetting you can drag. Alright. Okay. Let's just let's mark it off. Um, how do we do that though? We'll just mark it off as this. That might be a bit much. Yeah. Oh, it's a texture. Oops, that's not... There we go. It'll be something like this. I mean, it's going to be a rough layout. I also want to change the entrance. And the big reason is we don't need... We don't need two ramps. Like, that's a big... Like, this... This section right here is a big waste of space. And we need to do something about this because this is um, not good. 
Also, we don't need two entrances. I think one is plenty. So what we'll do is we kind of compress those spaces together. So for example, we'll have This is going to be a wall, and let's mark this off as, oh boy, let's mark it off as this one. So that's our, our dividing wall into the entrance, which is which needs to be three by three, unfortunately. Um, Which, to be honest, it can rise up in a way. Oops, that's not one. Way. So let's do this, for example. Um, let's actually use ramp ways. Let's see what this looks like. Ramp C's, come here. And in theory, the wall should be here. This might be a bit too much. Because instead of a wall, we'll just have the door here, right? Let's get our shutter doors. Oops. Uh, three by three. It'd just be like that. Oof, I don't like this gap right there. It's not. It's not good. So that'll be our ceiling. So it should be relatively tight. The problem here is I'd rather this be... Hmm. Maybe we widen this a little bit. I mean, like this. Maybe the rear of the ship is going to be like this, and then it, it continues to taper on down. Uh, will this be threes? I think this will be threes. So we'll do... Like the bridge. You know what? Let's let's build let's build out this and see what happens. Um Yeah. It's a bit phallic, but okay. <laughs> uh Okay, so this will be the stairs, right? Let's test this out. Let's put... Um, ramp A here. Yeah, that's fine. That was fine, and then a... Oops. We need this first. Oh, 
this probably should be in um in carbon now i think about it we don't want metal stairs right that's a that's a huge waste um okay first let's lay out this steps up this is going to be ramp c ramp a and then up and that's the ceiling or that's the right yep that should be the next floor up Is this can't be there. Oh, but now how do we get into engineering? Oh, you know what? Instead of so if this is our entrance, let's mark this off as um our ingress point as green. So the door should be on this side right here. People coming in. You can go straight up. Up to floor two, which is going to be here. Or you can turn right into... Yeah. And this will be a wall. And the engineering will be... Actually, how big was it here? It was only by... Um, one, two, so three by one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, which is generous. So we can probably do, yeah, three by five. So we can shrink it again. He oh well, no, no, we can't. Um, I guess we're stuck with seven. Well, not necessarily. Hmm. So this can be the actual floor of engineering right here. And the catwalk down into the interior. Although that may not be necessary, it still looks okay. I like it. It's fine. Um, let's place the components down now and see how it all fits in there. Uh, gonna need a moment. You definitely generators, definitely the uh, RCTs. We need a better RCT than that. Uh, where's am I just not seeing it? What's going on? Yeah, we well, you know what? Let's just grab the fuel tank, let's grab the pentactic tank, and Why is this low torque? Oh, right here. <sighs> Amazing. My powers of observation are way too much. Way too much. Uh, is there anything else we needed, we needed in here? Uh, no. No.
This thing takes up all the space. <laughs> Jeez. And this is also the... Well, this is going to be a wall, so let's not... Let's just simulate the edges. Like, this thing fits in the entire thing. Like the only space we have is four spots. Five. Six. So six spots and then inside the ship. Theoretically, this should be metal too, this backing, because it's going to be from here on there. So this is the rear of the ship, and then this is engines. So let's actually... May as well put this now, because that's where it's gonna be. Um, sure, let's cap it off. It's gonna be the upper ceiling as well, so let's mark that off to let us know that this is gonna be C steel as well. So steel, steel. It looks kind of short and stubby. Now, let's see, we can put like two generators on each side, or a generator on each side. Um, No, I have a better idea. Let's put... Oh, you know what? There's also this space right here. Well, honestly, we could also just bring it out a bit, right? Like, we don't have to force ourselves to... Yeah, like, we can do that one square. That should be good. That gives us a nice transition into the very tight engineering area but it should be like that's that's kind of the idea of this so we can put two of those there we can leave that we can put a we can put there nothing over here we can put in our tanks. So let's put in um let's put this fuel tank down there and a pentaxid tank on top of it. And this can be room for whatever the player wants to do. Like whoever gets this schematic, they can put whatever they want here. Or well wait, let's think about this. We need to put the RCT down. Don't worry. I can go here, right? Yeah, let's put two here. It's probably unnecessary, but you know. And then, yeah, again, so. Or maybe we put the RCSs back here. We put one back here. And, you know, players can use this square and this area here for whatever they want. Like another RCS, whatever. Um, let's build out the steps real quick. Oop. 
ramp C medium, please. No, what are you what are you doing? That right there. There we go. That looks much nicer. We can put something here too. Um maybe an armor locker. And this is gonna be a wall. So let's actually let's fill that out. I think I prefer this to be a wide open area into this and then have the rest of it kind of be a little bit tighter. Also, we could get rid of these walls. Maybe not this one. Just to kind of keep things, you know, tidy. Yeah, that way, like, the entrance is a little bit more open. And you can go into cargo and then further into here if you need to. Uh, we're going to need one more layer here because this is going to be an armor layer. The probably need the corners. And this is the beginning of our nose. And then some more armor and then guns. And then we can put our... Get rid of this because we're gonna need to put that put down an actual core. Oop. So we need a core, a T2, T3. Will we need it, both of these? I think no, but let's keep one around, keep them both around just in case. Um, we're also going to need. O2 tanks and a ventilator. So same design as yesterday. Oh wait, this needs to be block. There we go. That's that's the nose right there. Okay, so Let's put let's put oxygen on the left, yeah, and then core on the right. And if we don't need all this, that's okay because we'll just destroy a CPU extender too. What's our we should be like 40,000 or some shit. See, why does it say active tier? Do I have to turn this on somehow? Is this is that what's going on? I don't have oxygen. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if there's oxygen or not because there's no oxygen tanks. So I don't understand why it's going to CPU 2. It did the same thing yesterday with this ship. Hmm. Maybe it's not automatic, but I figure if they're connected it should be automatic. Is it just too many? That looks a little silly. Um, yeah, it still thinks tactic tier is two for whatever reason. Let's figure that out later. Um, O2 ticks. Let's put two and then one of these guys. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. We are... There needs to be a wall here. So, 
walls. Oops. Now we can do this. Uh, let's take this out. Place the CPU extenders down at the bottom, then the CPU up on top. There we go. We got nice, pretty readouts too, so. Alright, super tight little uh, utility closet thing. Oh, the fact that it's, uh, that it's up front is kind of worrying because obviously if it gets shot into then it's uh, problematic, but you know what? The front should be very heavily armored. Okay, so walls, walls, ramps up. There's also definitely a tight little space, but that's okay. This ship should be very uh, claustrophobic. putting in the interior walls here and then oh wait you know what do we not do this yeah i think we leave it open uh we can maybe no this is fine i think this is okay i was gonna say we could like block this up but i think this is good This should actually be the, um, the O2 dispenser thing, or yet O2 station. There we go. So we walk in O2, or it could be here. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, first walk in, O2 station. Boom. We can also maybe put the armor locker here, which wouldn't be a bad idea. We can put more armor lockers upstairs in the quote unquote living area. We can put one down here too. Um, for now, this is fine. Keep going. Let's keep going. Let's make this. So, this will be our dump box right here. Okay, a uh, cargo controller, dump box, or wood, ammo, extensions, and regular cargo. So we walk in, dump box right there. We should make this a crafting area, and then this can be like wood and ore, and then this can be our ammo, which doesn't need this much space. I think we do it so it's like this. So the layout is going to be maybe I 
I think that's good. And then the crafter can go here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. This is the ammo one. Let's put that there. And let's place down one of these because that's all we really need. Put those there to indicate where they can go and then just bores. That that should be plenty, right? Yeah, this should be plenty. There's actually plenty of space in here to just to expand and move around. You can also stack up, so yeah. Plenty of room. Um Where's our crafting bench? There's our crafting bench. There's something we missed. Um, and it is this. Although we could, in theory, Cut in here. There's one other thing we missed, and that's the wireless. Uh, well, I missed it. <laughs> you probably didn't miss it. You're probably going like, hey, add these two things. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you there. So we'll put that wireless, and we'll put... Actually, yes, we want that there. Alright, so room for improvement on both these sides, and then these two are covered. Good. What the heck? It is connected to a tier three. Why won't it? Um... Okay, fine. Just put this down here and hopefully it all works. Okay, I'm good with this layout. Uh, now the upper section. We could start tapering the upper section down too, I suppose. That'll make that way too uh, thin. So we're gonna need two for our like personal area, and then a wall to separate, or is that even necessary at this point? I think no. I think we can just go straight into the cockpit. enough space okay let's try it out let's try let's put the cockpit in there then we're gonna put in these smaller ones the smaller open cockpits oh it's right it's two by three so we need to Or, you know what? We can reclaim some of this space too. Well, not that. Why not that? I mean, we can. We still can. Um, we just have to be clever about it. 
This can come out to here. So what we'll do there is we'll do an upside down. Upside down rep medium and then wait. No, wrong way. Upside down ramp A. Like that. And upside down ramp C medium, like that. So we still have headroom. And we can go around this corner, which we can also block off. Oop. That's. We could put something down there. Like an armor station could also go here, for example. Or cargo. You know. Like personal cargo or something. Um, like if you put uh, da -da -da -da, this guy. Like so. That wouldn't be bad. But let's wait till later to do that. Um, for now, let's continue doing this. So that gives us a bunch of space up here. I want it to kind of go out and then come down. Well, it'll come down here because... You know what, let's pull these guys back. Like that. Also, this. Let's actually get the ran our shutter door now. Damn it. No, yeah, it can't be there. Huh. How are we going to do this? Put upside down ramp A's again. Oh, whoops. Made a mistake. It should be on this side. Like so. I don't like that gap at all. At all. But I think we just have to live with it. Now let's put the, that away, put the ramp in. Not the little teeny ramp, but the 3x4x2. By by
That's so not very good looking. Um, that's okay. We will just have to deal. I mean, it's not bad the way this merges into each other. So I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. These we can get rid of because that's going to be a steel front. Let's actually cover this up now. Bring it all the way forward. Black soul. Alright, let's start doing walls. Okay, that was weird. Oh, that's right, we also have two spaces here where we can do stuff with. Oh. This can probably go. That can probably go. We'll see. We'll see what everything looks like once this has been built up. Wait, we don't need that. Just the one, right? Oh no, we did that out. Huh? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. This is space. Let's put that like so. Uh, this can go. Yes. Hmm. Um, what else do I need? Oh, down here. Okay, this is much slimmer than this one. That's good, but again, it's not quite as protected. That's okay, though. Okay. Um. Oh, this is too much. Alright, let's add the ceiling here. Uh, 
<laughs> Why is that missing? That one, please. Thanks. I think we don't need that corner. All right. Our little boxy ship. <laughs> it's still okay. It's still got this nice, relatively nice curve. It's not as long as I initially imagined it, but I think cutting out that, uh, cutting out this is a considerable safe space saver. I think that matters more in the Empyrean um, than not. We've got a nice big entrance, so that's kind of nice. Maybe we could shrink that down too, but I think we're okay with this. Like with, uh, I think we're okay with this size. It makes it convenient. We kind of do lose the whole like um, airlock vibe, which we could still recreate, right? We could bring this out to this layer and then put one on the inside here, like lock this off and then put one on the inside of this layer and then put this O2 station inside there. But then that's that complicates things a bit much, and I think this is okay. Again, for like a beginner-ish ship, I think this works well. Um, we'll probably kill those. Make it look like less of a bus. <laughs> Although our headroom is real, real low in here. Huh? I kind of want monitors here and like stations here. Um, part of me wants to like. No, that's good. That's good. Walk in, walk in, walk in. This feels constricting, so let's remove that. Uh, we could still close off engineering up here. Um, or we could put like windows here, that'd be kind of cool, right? And then a kind of last door type deal here. We could do something similar here. Or like a glass door type deal. Let's look at our doors. What kind of doors can we put in? Force fields would be cool. Uh, but let's look at regular doors. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at doors? Oh, manual doors. Let's look at force fields too. Do we have two by two doors? Manual interior. Okay, that's a bit big. Why? Why can't we fit? Oh, they're large. They want to be tall because they're, yes, two by three by one. So, okay, that's not going to work. Can we have two by two force fields? Answer is no. You can have that, I suppose. 
some fancy shit there. Wait, we can't retrieve them now. We can't retrieve the uh, force fields. But we can undo that. Like, Oop. okay. Now back up here. Let's put in cool windows. Gonna be here, right? Yeah, window. Window small. Vertical two by two. Do we split the floor? I think we do it like this. It actually gives engineering quite a lot of room back here and uh, the upstairs. Is there anything else we need in here? Uh, no. Should look up what force fields do. Hold on, let's do some tippity tappin, Empyrean. Force fields. Because I kind of want to put that one down here, you know? It would be kind of cool. And same with here. Like, it would be nice to have force fields that kind of signify hey, this is engineering. Danger. It's to keep out oxygen and structures while maintaining an open path between... So, okay, so... Force fields are... A series of blocks designed to keep out oxygen and structures while maintaining an open path between blocks slash terrain. Okay. So, let's employ that. Gives it a nice little vibe. Now over here we can put lockers, armor lockers. So armor locker. What else do we need up here? A constructor? Like a second constructor? I don't think it's a bad idea to have them, but I, I don't know about a second constructor. I think having the one downstairs is fine. In which case, isn't this space kind of useless? Should we then just bring everything in one more? You know what I mean? Like bring the cockpit's in to here. And we could still wall it off, right? I think we do that so that we just shorten it just that much more. Um,
I also want this to be like that. Oops, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be steel. You know what? We'll put in like all the design flares later. Right now, this is good. Um, and yeah, we can still roll it off. So that it's semi private. Put steel there actually. That way the cockpit feels nice and snug, you know what I mean? Now what I'm wearing. Okay, up here is armor locker. Do 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 Side or that side? Let's do that there. And then. Although, honestly, we could have that, the armor locker down here, too. You know, like inset in here or something like that to kind of give the sense that um, see but that kind of ruins this the o2 station's p position um, because the armor locker is thinner what we could do is move the o2 station here but I feel like it's a good vibe coming in and getting your O2, which is pretty much what you know you're gonna need. Uh, let's check air tight. Show oxygen. Oh wait, we don't have oxygen. Here. Was that? I mean, I think it's it's airtight, right? I mean, except for the obviously open canopy here, but I think the rest of it seems good. Okay, this one. We're going to have to bring this out a bit. Let's get our arm armored glass out here. It's time to make some some windows. Don't want it to be that tall. Let's put some angled ones. Oops. Okay, now.
Wait, that's not gonna work, is it? Um. I just want to see what this looks like from the inside. Probably going to look weird. That's not going to work at all. It has to be... Like so, and we're gonna have to do these guys. To make it not look stupid. Um... I really wish we could use these. But there's no way to get them to... to marry this section. We can try. Wait a minute. Simply because there's no angle. I mean, there's no vertical that goes at an angle. This, oh wait, no, there's this. Ooh. We're just stuck with a crappy top. Which is fine, I guess, you know? This we can just use, um, ramps, rampy ramps, not that kind of ramp, we need ramp A. Like so, and ramp C, medium, like so. That can't go. So I have to figure something out there. I also put ramp A's here, I suppose. What we could do is... Kind of similar to what we did here yesterday. Instead of using those, we do... We make a hat. Oh wait, I thought those. Like so. So that we feel, you know, a little bit enclosed in and armored. Now we have a lot of uh, breadth in front of us. I'm wondering if we should. I'm wondering if we should change this up. 
because we don't need to have this, right? Okay, so here's what we do. Put a ramp A here, and then we put glass Oops. here. Oops, not, yeah, yep, yeah, that glass. we get a little bit of a peek at, the, of our, at our nose, which is going to have the guns. And then we can do like a sort of console type deal here. Um, geez, what's going on? Three. Which kind of wastes all the space, um, kind of, but that's okay. Now let's put. Let's see what this looks like with a ramp. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good even with the ramp. Oh, it's not just open space, you know what I mean? We can also make this less harsh by like having it angled down. Like this. Let's actually let's look at that. Let's see how that looks. Um, no, not those. These guys. Like that. That gives them the schnoz. It looks like glasses and a schnoz. What we could do is here. Oh no, we can't because we need we need this to be our type. Never mind. Yeah, the upstairs is a nice amount of area or space. Um, just forget to put a ceiling. I guess so. So there's definitely a lot of room for um, improvement here in the uh, engineering bay. Or room for expansion, sorry, not, not improvement. So what we could do is actually move these tanks upstairs. No, decompression. The 
let's put fuel so let's put the pentaxion tank here down here let's grab fuel tanks so there a front an attractive front eh looks okay so put that there uh which which, which leaves us area space for one more here take the RCS away because then you can put another intaxid tank here should you wish uh, generators are okay there although we could place them on either side of this or like three here but then what would we what would we do with this space I suppose we could slim it down, right? Like, what if we were to cut into the ship? Both sides here. Like, what if you put this wall on this end? That wouldn't be too, too bad, to be perfectly honest. The thing is, we can't do that on this side, because we need this ramp. We just make it thinner for um, for engineering, but the entrance is just going to have to be like a little bit chunky in the middle, right? So it'll come in like this. So the the entrance will be like this, and then it'll come in by one here. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Oh, this force field. Shit, how do we get rid of this? Um, hmm. Let's look this up. Empyrean... Tree force field. How do we do this? It doesn't say how to remove them. I don't, I'm not sure how to actually uh, do such a thing. Maybe if we took this out. Force field emitter one by two. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. 
Oh. I think it's okay having that. Oh, we still can't do it here because of this. No, we can't. We can do it. We can. We'll figure something out. Just checking. Alright, so this probably just has to come out one. Although this is okay. No, this is actually fine. This is fine. Oh, I see. It's this little strip. That's the force field emitter. Okay. I'm good with that. Uh, let's put maybe not armored windows, just regular windows. Let's put the big two by twos. Oop. Let's put in some fuel. Do I not have any stuffs? A Prometheum. I need biofuel? Is that... Oh, no, because there's no tanks. Right. Right. No tanks, no generator. That's why there's no power. So come in, O2 station. It's exit tank, which is probably not necessary. It shouldn't be the first thing people see. Um, but it's honestly okay. Let me put that over here. And maybe we put it on the ground. Like so. So that people can like stack them to two if they wish. And we can do the same thing over here, but for our regular fuel. So we have two tanks of fuel. And we can have two tanks of pentaxid should the player want them. Down here. I wonder if we should do that down here instead. So two pentaxids down here. Oh, you can have one. Eh. Yeah. I thought you could have two. Well, oh, go there. And people can add another regular fuel tank if they want. Let's put these down here too. And what we, what we can do up here is put in generators, right? And that still gives us quite a lot of space to do what we need to do. Uh, generators. Yeah. 
The problem with this is you can't build anything on this. So let's try and rotate those. There we go. That way, um, if people want to build, they can build here. Which actually, we can do something like. But no, this is fine for now. We could put like a big monitor here, maybe. But let's figure out decoration and stuff later. Uh, for now, like an like LCD screen could be good here, or instead of glass, it's LCD screens. Let's look at, let's look into that. Um, why are these so small? I don't know. I feel like the glass is better. We can still put LCD screens up here, you know what I mean? Should be wanted. But for now, I think this is good. This is a good layout. Uh, force fields. Reload. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder if there's a um. Yeah, we could use you could we could use the these to close up the windows. Cause this looks weird, right? I'm not sure no one cares. Now this looks chunky. Ah, undo. I think this is fine. No one's probably going to care about that at all. Okay, so that's good. I think a slimmer interior is nice. Let's put in some fuel and some oxygen. Oh, what's all this? Yeah, I messed up there. Wait, why is this? Oh, because I messed up here too. Ha oh, oh.
Okay, that looks more correct. Cool. I like how everything kind of tape starts to taper down. Uh, it's got big prominent ears, but that's okay. Um, do we need that? Can we bring it in? We could. Not on this side. I think we're okay with that. We're okay with that. Uh, we can make a hood here. Um, so yesterday I was thinking like of putting like one or two giant thrusters, but I think I'd rather do a bunch of little thrusters. So a bunch of mediums maybe, a bunch of larges even. Let's look at it. We're actually going to need smalls, mediums, and larges. three down here. Maybe not quite so high. Well, actually, no. I, like, I do like it high because I want to I want to make like a hood that goes out this way and like angles down. I want to reserve a central row and then I want to do something similar here. But let's put it down one like that. It has six mediums, but it still allows whoever to add more engines if they want. They could put two, you know, two larges right in the center here. Maybe we move these down, but I don't know. I, again, I still want this to extrude. Probably a bit much, but you know what? I, I'm okay with that. I want it to look like it can push real fast. All right, now we need, we're gonna need maneuvering thrusters. The bottom doesn't need to have the, that kind of flare because that's gonna look like a uh, clothes, clothes pin. So. No. What we could do though is maybe inset these one. In. We could put them here. I know it like digs into the actual ship, but I'm okay with that. That <laughs> is that is that too much? What if we did enclosed ends? Oh, 
kind of I still want this down. bring it down here or to bring it just one down like so What we could do is like something like this to kind of give it those lines. We could also do the same for the bottom line here. Even though it's technically less protection, it'll look cleaner. We could also do the same here. like a nice shagged almost brutalist kind of look that's really kind of what we're going for too like we want it to look slightly anachronistic in terms of you know technology um sure i'm okay with this i really am amused by the big chunky ears we can also extrude this out. So if we do like so. All right, now we're going to need forward facing retro thrusters. I'm going to do four of them. Okay, do we do the angled one? The slants? Could put them like here and here, down at the bottom. You have how many? Six? Yeah, six. So that's quite a, quite a lot of thrust. Let's put one here. Maneuvering thrusters, however, should just be smalls. I think we should be okay. We should be able to get get away with just smalls. So let's put one behind them. Like so. We're going to need to put some on the side, so two here. Um, let's put one down the center line, which is going to be what, like right here? I mean, that's not the center line, I know, but um, weight-wise, it feels like this is correct. Although we can put, we have to put one here. All right, let's put a cluster. So, we should probably use this space, right? Since we've got the ears, let's use the space. Um, where do we put? 
put you, we put you there. So, same thing over here. We're also gonna need thrusters up on top, which means less armor. But, but we're gonna have to just—that's just how what we're gonna have to deal with. Um, we don't really have a lot of space. Well, we've actually got two, four. We just need two up here. Technically, we can go here. Is that too many thrusters? Or just do middle? Let's actually try it. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Um, Danger is facing inside. Oops. Yep, let's have that face into the ship. Is they're kind of visible, right? Which is a little bit annoying. But it gives us eight per side, which isn't bad, right? I don't know, I, I'm not sure if I like that. Especially the fact that it's... You can see it in here. I, I don't want that. So let's uh, undo. Now let's look at this. Yep, we can see, so... If we play some next to like this so we put okay so for example we put two here like so that way it's kind of staggered there's some like a weird not weird but like an interesting design going on and then we flip that up Put that down. So we have like kind of a center line close to the pilot seat. Actually, it's on the pilot seat. That's not bad. Oh, but then we have to deal with it here. Next to the entrance. Um, It's fine, I guess. It should be okay. But where's the warning?
seeing as it looks odd without something on the side here to, to even it up, you know what I mean? I suppose we could put more thrusters just to give it more um, vertical and horizontal uh, thrust. Would that also improve our yaw? I'm honestly not so sure. It also makes me want to bring this out. Same with this, the ramp. So if we do do that... Okay, let's do... The upside down ramp A's again. We need the four. Oops. Three before, but two. Here's a question, do we put it on the inside? Then it'll be kind of floating out of nowhere, if that makes sense. Here, let's let's look at it. Oops, not that one, this one. No. That. Like if you put it like this. Wish I could fill in that space, but we can't. Let's just put regular ramps. To make it feel more inviting as you walk in. Oh, you know what? We forgot to put walls here to make it feel cramped. Cramperty cramped. And we can put a door here, maybe? You know, no, we can't. The doors are too big. Uh, we can put a horse field, I suppose. You know, we're not done with those. So S M 
down, just in case. This guy here. Do we put it in there or do we put it in here? Like that there. We should put one upstairs as well. Kind of right here. Oops. Horse fields. Like into the cockpit so that it is so that the so that parts of the ship are all like sealed off from each other in a in a way. Like that. probably overkill and it's probably unnecessary but I kind of like the way that works so we go and keep it We actually put more engines, right? Like so. It's probably overkill, but um, fuck it. I like it like that. Part of me wants to put small engines here on the sides of the door as well, to to for symmetry. Probably unnecessary. Actually, let's take our power. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're way, way good on CPU and stuff like that. We're not even close to like 15,000, so yeah. So we could actually decompressing. It's because of that. Oh, because of this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's just let's just fill it in. Five. I want that. Oops. It looks like kind of an industrial ship, which is kind of what we want it to look like. I still think this is weird, and I want to like bring it in. We can, we can cut that off. It'll still look like a nose. But a nose with shades. 
but it's not quite so egregious, you know what I mean? Oh wait, what am I doing? There we go. Yeah, it feels a little bit better. Okay, let's finish up this side with the thrusters. That should be plenty, yes? That should be eight on each face. With a crap ton of mediums in the rear and then plenty in the front. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're doing good. I think this is not a bad layout. Although in theory we could move these guys down over here. Like this. Small thruster to this block. Just to kind of slim down this this little area. I think it's okay. We have to put blocks here anyways, just to give it a little bit of uh A bit more prominence. I found out the max of 130 mil, uh, meters per second is a hard code thing. Like the U. Oof, it's turn radius. Like it's there because the developers don't want you to go too fast and crash into things that haven't loaded into the game yet. So. Okay, we need landing gear, which we'll put here, here, and maybe like two up front. Where's your landing gears? Tier two, tier one, tier two. We don't want the big ones. Oh, you know what? We can put blocks here. Oops. Well, no, that's not true. We could still use that there. Oop. Then we'll put two up front. Oh, 
like so. Maybe these should be back further. For stability. I feel like having them out wide is good as well, but... Maybe we just have a lot of landing pads, or landing uh, gear, right? Maybe we put one in the middle, and then two out to the widest portions, like here. So for example, like that, and like that, and like that. You could do something similar over here by putting landing pads here, and here, and then one in the center. So like so, like so, and like so. That's a lot of landing pads, or landing gear. But hey, you know what? She's a big ship, and it needs a lot of gears. Or a lot of... Yes, landing gears. <laughs> she needs a lot of them. Um, do we need more armor here? I think yes. Yes, we do. Probably we're going to use... How do we do this? I suppose we could just start doing the edges, right? This I still want to extrude out just a little bit. Oh, we see there's going to be an overhang here. Um, and same with here. We want to extrude it out. I think this is a much better design. Let's uh, let's try and land it and look at it on the ground. Why is the tint all different? What? Is it because of the angle? Oh, it's annoying. I don't like that at all. Bonk. about wait what we are three up oh my god i thought people were two okay it's not people are three so this is all too small well that was a waste This whole time, a big waste. Because I was hoping that was going to be three is the minimum height. Which means... Where's the other one? Did our other one disappear? It did. Okay.
Well, the more you know. The more you know. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. Show BP parts on small vessel. Select delete. No, the whole thing. Well, the whole thing. Yep, part one. Whoop, that's not what we want. We want this correct. Why can't we? Oh, set selection. That's right. Delete. Oh. Oh, there's, there's the old one. Way over there. Still, this one's not going to be good because we can't... We can't get through up here. We can't really get through anywhere upstairs because there's only two high rather than three. So this is a design we need to also destroy because... Grr. Show BP, selection, part one, selection, oops. Okay, it's okay. I think we're forced to use capital vessel stuff, even though it's going to be larger than I really want. Like the Corvette shouldn't shouldn't be something like this, you know what I mean? There's gonna be huge guns in that thing. Like these windows are gigantic. I don't know why this has no oh, there's no fuel. There we go. Oh, I think we got no choice but to use something like this. How big are they? Yep, live and learn, I suppose. So how big are blocks here? So that's... So it's three, three by three. Or sorry, two by two. Right. Yeah, two by two by two is the cube, not three. Oh, hold. it's visible because there's power now. All right. 
All that time. All that time wasted. That's okay, though. That's okay. Learning pains. Let's try to make a decent enough capital vessel. Our newbie capital vessel. Um... Grab one of these. Let's put it out. Let's build it up here. Or we could technically build it down here. Just to give us some sense of space of how large it's going to be. Um, maybe here. Okay, let's put that away. Let's grab. Let's do the same thing. We'll use oh, carbon large steel blocks large. So we'll lay out our cargo grid. Wait, it's going to be steel floor, so boy. This is actually a lot of space already. We don't need this much. So like if we mark out... Say cargo floor. Like how big are the components, right? Are they going to be huge? I have a feeling they're going to be huge. So where's cargo? Capacity 8 kilo SU with maximum volume capacity of 320 kilo SU. So let's grab the container controller just to look. Yep, it's so gigantic. So if we took the same design philosophy as a small crappy one, if we walk in, it'll be right here in our faces. So, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So we walk in, we have a ramp. Which this one should be easier to do in this size. Okay, let's think this through. Let's go ramp C. Oh, that's huge. That's a huge ramp. Um, it has to be much, much... Yeah, we can't. This is going to be gigantic. That's not too bad. But it's going to be wide. Which is okay, I guess, because we still need to put walls and stuff. So, how are we going to do this? How are we going to shape this? I think the ramp is just, it just takes too much space. I think we have to rely on on an elevator.
I don't know now. I don't know what to do at this point. Because the, the, the capital ship is just large. Like the, the pieces, the parts in it are large. Like if we look at... Yeah, the detector is going to be huge. Like it's going to take up an entire cube just by its... I mean, that hasn't changed much, but that means that our ship itself is going to be like much larger than what I imagined. Like, it's not going to be just a Corvette. But you know what? Like, let's, let's, let's actually see it through because it's, it's a good example. Like, it's a good way to start getting into capital ship building, right? So yeah, let's do, let's do this. Let's make it nice and big and chunky and see what happens. Um, cargo grid, let's extend this. That's so that it's kind of more like this. Well, this is going to be crafting, I suppose, or maybe this. Another thing we can do is set it in. So let's call this temporary flooring. Oh, you know what? No, this is fine. I don't want it to be too large. I feel like this is pretty good. So then our wall, our outer wall here will be here, and so on and so forth. The electronics room is going to be a bit of an issue. Because it's just going to be an extension of these. It still needs a wall to kind of separate them, just so that there is some separation. Uh, we're going to need three. Didn't realize it was going to be... That's way too much. Let's look at doors, shall we? Yeah, doors are only two, so actually we can make our... We don't have to make So maybe this makes this simpler. No, it still doesn't make it simpler. Because we still need... a lot of space to make a ramp. We need a place to ingress, go up, move, and then up again. So, okay, so let's, let's just build it out. Let's see what happens. So coming in, up the ramp.
and found a crap ton of wasted space. Well, not really. This is going to be an elevator, right? Let's actually pop that in now. Doo -doo -doo. Wait, it can't be this, because this is the entrance. Uh, let's actually look at our... Now force fields, we want shutter doors. Okay, not bad. That's actually okay right there. And we could do something similar in this end. We can still have our two entrances like we've always wanted. Although it won't be here. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. Oh, do. It'll just be set in. Because the, the wall will actually be around this. Then again, we don't need that much space, do we? No. And build this in. Which keeps it kind of slim, you know? So let's try this with a thin kind of cigar shaped shape. I think it will overall look a lot less bulky. But it might look tall, which is going to be interesting. Okay, so we come in. To our left is our cargo grid with ample space. And to our right will be access towards engineering and the ramps up. So maybe we put this here. mark off our entrance. We we'll also need... Okay, so... Space. We need a wall. So this is going to be our electronics and oxygen, a wall, and then our nose begins here. And then presumably guns will go out this way. Now this side... How big is this thing? Is the uh the warp drive? It's probably huge, right? Yep, it's huge. Holy shit. So we can't put a warp drive on this. We just don't have the space. Unless we make it our floor. Even if we made it our floor, we it's it's bigger than that.
Is this this thing has to have a warp drive. It has to. So is that necessary? If that's necessary, then wait, no, we didn't see one in there, do we? I mean, it's got a lot of space, so more than likely it's in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. So it takes up that... Hmm. Engineering is going to be huge. That's going to be way more than just half the ship. So, okay, so assuming entrance, uh, we can put another entrance on this side, and then ramp up to the center, going this way, and no, it can't be like that, it has to be like this, all the way to the end, and then up. No, because the elevator's going to be there. Or we could put the elevator in the center... Man. Yes, reload. Reload the multi tool. By the way. Because if this thing's going to be this huge. <laughs> what about our, our generator? How big is that? Uh, T1 or T2? Let's do a T2 generator. I think these guys are huge too. Yeah. What about a T1? How big is that guy? Also large, but not like oppressively large like this guy. So we could do something like. Set them off to the sides. We could also um, set them up above. Like so. There's space for three of them. Right you. Oops. Just for shits and giggles. Now, if we're going to put this here, we're going to need access to it, which means this is going to extend outwards. And if we have a second floor, which we're going to need to, although I guess we don't need a second. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oops. There. Oops. Oh, what we can do is 
flip this on its side so it's not oppressive on the entire floor. Man, this thing. Selection. Delete. Can't just delete it? No? Is there an undo selection? There we go. Okay, so we can do something like this, right? Oops, not like that. Like this. So when we come in, this is really kind of not good. I think maybe we put the elevator on this side and then the ramp starting on this side, but I don't know. Because let's say if we enter in, see, it doesn't matter because the, the problem is going to be on either side, no matter which entrance you choose to get in. Anyways, but assuming that we do something like this, which gives us some entrance into the into the engineering bay, which actually let's block that up. So we're forced to use this, this side as an entrance. Yeah, then in this case, this is definitely in the way. And Let's mark off our ramp, which is going to be, this is going to be the landing. And this is going to be the actual ramp. So, ramp, ramp, landing, and then up on floor two, it's going to be ramp, ramp. This way. Which leaves no space for the elevator. In which case, do we even bother with the ramps? That's just a waste of space. Let's try not to fall. We can also not have... Oops. Two entrances and just have the one entrance. But I, I kind of like the idea of having two. Also, let's. If this is going to be the floor floor, that means we're going to need a wall here. Sure. Gigantic walls. Because um, then this is our catwalk, right? Because I think we have our elevator here. Up to the top. But if we do that, we don't really need the wall per se.
and we don't need this much space. Now, another thing we can do is take that out. Now, keep in mind that there's going to be walls here, exactly like this, all the way down this way. The problem is like this is nice and all, but it's still not enough room because we need one like enough space for the shield generator. So maybe we don't do. All this catwalk. Maybe only where we need it. So hold on. So let's think about this. Let's maybe we put Where's the shield generator? Where are you at? We're running gravity too. That's huge. How big is the tier one? Oops. Equally as large. What about gravity? Gravity is at least decent. It's this chonker. So, okay. What's limiting us here now is... Conceit of this is what's limiting our engineering bay. And these components are gigantic. Gigantic. Um, where are we? This. Pass all this crap away. We can. Either set this down in the middle here, or we can put it up on its side, like flush it up against the wall or something. And then the rest of the components can go out here. But there's. So it leaves us very little space. Which is okay, I guess. Oh, come on. Like so. So we can have, say, a generator. The geez, this thing is a gigantic thing. That doesn't leave us any room for generators. Totally not doing that right. Uh, let's put in a uh, tier. Where you at? Tier two. I mean, this fella's just as big. <laughs> Yeah, 
It's longer too. Maybe we just deal with the large generators rather than our tier ones, rather than tier twos. Because at least we can have multiples of these, kinda. Because I think these will, these will fit relatively well. The shield generator is it's going to be a bit much. Maybe we don't have hull shields because they all they also kind of eat a, eat up a lot of energy or CPU, I should say. Do you want a gravity gen? Let's look at our tanks. How big are these guys? Let's do tier 3 or tier 2 tanks. Where's the tier 2 fuel tanks? Where are you at? Tier 2? Look at 2s and 3s, just to see. Pretty sure they're going to be... Yeah. Not H. Oh. So we could squeeze this and this guy here, so that's not too bad. What's their capacity? A lot, 6,000 versus 2,700. So that's not bad. Now let's like squeeze them in here. Let's look at the Pentaxid tank, which not bad either. We can slap that up here. That's kind of weird. I wish that was shaped better. I'm going to also put it up against this. Oops. Slid out there for a sec. Like so. I don't like that at all. I feel like it sh like it looks better if it's right next to this. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, for example, let's put this guy here. Maybe we put like a small one of these guys there. It's not a lot of fuel, is it? Also close that up. I should actually close off both of that.
All right. Now we can put an elevator here on this side. Actually, we can put just one ramp here, right? We can still stay true to our ramp idea. No, we can't. Because that only gets us to this level. We would need uh, four squares in order to fulfill it. We could do it here on this side. But no, that's a waste of space. So let's just let's stick with maybe this over here. I feel like this is a giant waste of space too. So we'll have to re refigure out where our entrance is. I keep falling off. Make our entrance here, maybe? Which gives us a lot of room here in the middle for stuff. Although, what do we need up here? So we could just make it here. And then just start off cargo right right away. So it'd be cargo grids, cargo, more storage, and then some crafting here. Let's mark that off anyways, just in case. Actually, we could just start here. Like, we can just use this for whatever we need to. Break all this down. And so this wall can start here for our electronic components. One, two, wall. Oops, this needs to be armor. We could also give ourselves a little bit more room for electronics because this is pretty much it, right? Let's actually figure that out now. Um, toss all this crap. So, core, uh, CPU. Um, oxygen uh, detector. Uh, where's our oxygen tanks? Oxygen tanks. Oh, it's an O2 station, which we need to put close to the entrance. We need an RCS. Not this RCS, the RCS2. Where's our oxygen tanks, mans? Oh, we're gonna need the ventilators, that's for sure. And these shields are so large. It's just me, you might not seeing the Oh, two. Small perch. Thanks. How much is that? I think that's plenty. That's probably all we need.
Nom noms. A detector there, and what else do we have down there? We needed a wireless thing. This guy. And over here we put O2. Oops, not that. That. See, this is a huge tank though. So, how do we do the ventilator? I mean, I suppose we could just, like if you put a ventilator at this up here, and then just, I don't know, put a block in it, or we can just, I, th no, I think this is okay, because then we can wall this off like so. This is just huge, you know what I'm saying? We could also put the ventilator here. I think this might be much, too much. All right, what we do is we pull it out one. Well, no, that doesn't make sense because we're already two up here, so we may as well do two up this direction. So this can come up. We can actually flip that around the right way. Put a ventilator next to it. Boop. This is supposed to be on its side. Because the, you know, the label is... Okay. Then this is good up here. If anyone wants to add like another, like a small O2 tank, then they can. Let's do, let's see what it looks like in there. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Is that too much oxygen? This is a relatively smaller like ship, smaller capital ship, so it's probably not necessary. What we can do is we 
drop, please. We can put all that stuff on top of this. So let's put you here. Ventilator here. We can put, say, this fella on here. I kind of like it when it's hanging off the ceiling for some reason. Don't know why. But like that. And this. Same thing. Like that. Oop. And this could be, I suppose expanded should the player want like with a tier three sure They're just temporary. Actually, this can go. And we can put armor back here, or we can leave this open for future expansions should they want, right? So let's put these guys in there just to signify stuff can go there, like more armor, more whatever. Uh, let's seal this up. Oop, not much. And guns can go out here. But before we concentrate on that, let's look at our cargo grid. Um, I think this is okay. This is a crap ton of space. A crap ton. Let's see, what do we want to put there? Okay, we're going to want a constructor, that's for sure. We're going to want... Uh, personal cargo can, still, can go somewhere else. We're going to want ammo box. Clone chamber, that can go upstairs. Food pressers are upstairs. Do we want drones down here? No, probably not. Uh, we do want to repair bay, so there's that. Teleporter? No. Maybe not repair bay, but repair station. Do we need to repair console attached to this station? Or, and we should probably get a bunch of these con uh, containers. Give me one sec. Wait, what is this? Standard third device for cargo arrays, ammo. So what's the point of this cart container controller ammo? Put this away. Let's put all these guys in here. So, oh, this thing's huge. What about this guy? This one's decent. This one's huge. 
All right, give me one sec. We'll be right back. Gonna take a quick habayo break. Here's a here's a nice decent little view of the work in progress thus far. Here I mark. Okay, we are back. So, okay, apparently we're going to have to widen this to fit that guy, which is okay. Just means this also has to be widened in order for Symmetry. So our entr entrance point is going to be here now, and our elevator is going to be pulled back as well. Although, no, it doesn't have to, because this should be a um, we call this O two station. This fella. That's so not doesn't look nice. Like why is why is the why is the sign pointed off in some like that, right? Why? Which means it looks better over here like this. When you first walk in, boom, O2 looking at you in the face. Which makes our elevator. Actually, we need a bunch more than just the one. Uh, or yet. Get rid of that. Okay, I'm okay with this. This is kind of frustrating to see this. I could move this entrance over to this side, but that 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 kind of ruins the flow of the ship, right? If you're going up and down straight, this just I don't like this layout. Shit. I don't know how to do this. Maybe because I would prefer this to be on this square. Who 
could also put it here, right? In this square. All right, let's try, let's see, let's see how we feel about that. It just means that, oh, but it's open here. Oh, it's annoying. I think this is probably the best place for it, unfortunately. I think that's just the only place this elevator makes sense. We could also put the entrance on this side here. So then we have elevator O2 station. That's not bad. And then this can be just glassed off, right? So people don't fall through the the, the opening there. And it's the same here. Like even if we put it here, I suppose we could glass it off. I don't know. Maybe this is the best place for it. Let's try it out for a while. Let's see how we like it. And if we don't... Oh, wait. This thing's tall. Okay, that's fine. I think it just means we can't... This is not our ceiling. This is our ceiling. Which gives us a lot of space. There's a crap ton of space. Then this has to go up one more. Like so. But do we need to? Yes, we do. For the uh, for the rest of the ship. Then we just glass these off so that. People don't like fly out. Uh, we need to glass this off. All right, anyways, let's continue with this part. Uh, repair station, yes. We put it next to it. No, it's too cramped. We can do it like that. 
Yeah. Hello. The problem with the repair station being right here is that I'd rather have direct access to inventory or cargo. But I suppose it doesn't matter. You can spin around and... Okay, hold on. Let me switch out my headphones. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? We have no game sounds. Where'd the game sounds go? One second, let's check. Volume mixer. Okay, no, we're getting game sounds. We're getting clicks. Okay, so let's see. What do we put here? Well, with this here, we can actually make the cargo grid longer, right? We can probably put a cargo box, like a regular Joe Schmo cargo box there. All right, so comes in, uh, O2 station should go here. So first walk in, etc. Oh, we should probably face it our way, huh? Rotate. Oh, let's write the stupid. Why are you facing here? Face this way. Dump. Uh, okay. Anyways, we can put a cargo container here. Like so. This will be what? Or? We can put that here. And ammo here. Danger, explosive ordnance, ordnance. Oops, not that, this. So work in, work in. Access container, working, working. Repair station, probably too far away. I don't know, I think I'm actually okay with that there. Although technically, wouldn't we want the repair station here? Wait, we're still we're not getting any why why is there no audio there? Oh, there we go. It's being weird. It's being weird. Yeah, let's put this here. So we have a kind of, or we put this up one. Now that, that makes this too cramped. I know it's a lot of space already, but it makes it feel cramped. Let's 
sounds so low. Is it low to you? Because it's low to me. Now let's put the ore container here. Now let's put our regular cargo container. That's a little close, don't you think? so annoying. So annoying. Okay, maybe what we do is we bring this out one. Or we turn it. Like, putting something here makes it feel super cramped. Because you're supposed to, like, work at it from this angle. Like, if we put the O2 thing next to it, it won't be as bad. Like, here. This. If that looks decent, because they're both, like, at an angle, I access... Angle, access is angled. So like if we sat in this in this portion, then we have access to both of them. But I prefer the O2 station to be close to the entrance. Like if we could reverse these two, that'd be okay. But then we have this gap. Now, alternatively, we can put the entrance on this side of the ship. Put this over here. Gosh. Gosh, how annoying. Why is that? Why are effects low? Let me check something. Let's turn music off. Real quick sound check. It's super low. Maybe it's just my headphones. Yeah. My headphones are wacky. Alright, so now this should be good, right? Okay. Take this away, and you away. Or maybe we put the entrance here. What would happen if we put the entrance here? Hmm. Let's put extensions. Let's grab um, a large constructor again. There we go. Where'd you go? And maybe we should use a better repair console too. Let's grab that. A large constructor. And let's grab um O2. This guy. First, let's put these guys in, so we got plenty of storage for them.
Wait, sorry, no, this is the entrance. Oh. I don't know if I like that at all. Like I want the oops. I want the entrance to be here. Because I want it to be close to the center of the ship. Rather than than in the forward section. Um, more particularly because we're going to start tapering down, right? So I want this in a section that is just not going to vary in size. Okay, I don't think we have much choice, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's put craft stuff there and put the... Let's put this guy here. see how big this repair console is. That's not big at all. So we could put this here almost. What's the difference between this one? Access console for either using for using either repair blocks or repair to template. With any repair bay oh we need a bay and a console. Okay. So Where are you, Bay? Repair Bay. You know what? Let's just type repair. There we go. Repair station. Repair Bay T2. Oh. We don't need to repair Bay or a console. We need just the station. Can only can only repair damaged blocks. Like this is probably good for a base. Base. Well, no, you can't really put this on a base. This is meant for capital ships, so maybe we should do that. We'll also need a station. Well, we can put a station upstairs, yes. Let's put that there. And oh, this thing's huge. How is this? I've never used this, so I don't know how it's supposed to work. I'm assuming you put it on the ground. Five hundred hit points. What's this? Hmm. I could basically take the spot of this. I 
think that's okay, but it's obviously, I don't know. I feel like our repair station's better for us. Anyway, let's put this guy on here. That looks so cramped like that. Like, it looks great if it was like this. The problem with that, though, is then this needs to be set back. In order for this to work. That makes it too fat. Already got a chunky back here because of the because of engineering. Well, we still don't have enough space here in engineering, but um forget that out in a second. I think we're just gonna have to deal with this, unfortunately. I mean, we could bring it out of one, you know what I mean? But that also limits how far up we can go, or how far we can extend this space, our cargo. Right, because this, this is the only extension it can have. Whereas these guys can go up as well. This is going to be, be like a rather tall cap ship. I mean, it would be better if we you know, brought it out like this. Because then we can stack this into four. I think let's do this for now. Just to kind of match this energy. Um, we can put a regular old cargo box there. Which, let's look for that cargo boxes. We can do twos. Ooh, cargo pallets. I like these. Give flavor. I know they don't have a lot of capacity in comparison to the rest of them, but I really just like the way they look. So let's do a cargo pallet. It just breaks up the space, you know. We can put one here too. Let's do um, maybe this one. Now, this one. Now, what can go here? We could put the repair bay here, and then the console here.
Like so. That way we have access to all, all our technical stuff right here. And then this can be a repair bay. This a repair station, sorry. Like so. I suppose it's okay for this to be open. So that people using this aren't in the way. And then our O2 station can go right here. It's not great, but it works. So entrance, O2. I don't like it there. It's like it's right in your face, you know what I mean? Right when you walk in, right in your face. Like it would be better if these were like lockers, but... I think we're just going to have to deal. Now we could make our, whoops. We could make the entrance on this side and then put the O2 station over here or over in this one. That might not be bad, but then we have to like fuck around with this. And actually, honestly, now that I think about that, we need to add two blocks. Oops, not that. So maybe we take this back. Okay. And placing this thing sucks. You can go there, and you can go here. I'm okay with this layout. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Maybe we can widen this. Uh, let's see. What's our... What's our... Not boarding ramps. We need... Shutter doors. Do we have two by twos? Do we have two by ones? Not really. Okay, we can do something like this. Even though it's a little bit luxurious, like it's a huge entrance. I think that's okay. You can also set it out a little bit, but I think I think that's good placement for now. This is a lot of floor space. I'm not sure we need it need it all, but um I think that's all right. Let's close this up just so we can get a better sense of space. This is probably going to be closed off too. But before we close it off, um, man, this thing's going to be tall, tall, tall.
I suppose we could undo this and move this guy over. So we're maximizing our ore. Wooden ore. Stuff that we're gonna need the most of, right? So we can like stack up to six here, but let's let's allow the player to do that themselves. Let's um let's wall this off just so we can get a better sense of the uh, space. This actually isn't going to be steel, I realize. This is going to be um, carbon composite. Not all of it, but a bunch of it. All right, let's put this stuff away because we don't need that anymore. And let's get our engineering stuff back in here. Uh, we're gonna need, yeah, let's let's put in shields. Let's grab that guy. We don't need a teleporter. We need what else are we needing here? We need a lot of stuff. Uh, gravity generator. Or any actual generators. Where's the power generators? Right here. Large generator T2. We're going to fuel tanks too. So we got the Pentax tag tank. We've got the one small one, but we can. Let's put a second one up on top of it, shall we? Where's the. Fuel tanks. Like so. Is that upside down? No, that's good. That's good right there. That should be relatively plenty. Okay, let's do boop, 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 boop. This is going to be huge. Look at how much space that takes up. Jeez. Man, everything takes up so much room in this. What if we put this upside down? You know what I mean? And then stuck it to the ceiling. Also, this is badly placed. Um, let's take that back real quick. Oh, 
our there like our volume keeps going away. I don't know. Okay, let's simulate the ceiling now. Um we're only gonna we're only gonna go up one because I feel like that should be plenty. I definitely want the uh, living area to be to feel more cramped than the bottom area, the work area. Let's put that there for a sec. Um, let's let's start our walk, our catwalk. And what we can do is like so, which gives us an open space in the bottom there. But we don't have access to it necessarily. I mean, we kind of do. So we walk in, gravity, polarized hull. So that means what? What can we do with. Oh, we can't put this anywhere because it's huge. It's way too big. Um. We're going to have to use T1 generators. Like, I could put three of them here. Like so. Or we could stand them up and put them along here. We could also move this closer in, into the center. Because technically it's got enough room for us to walk underneath, right? Yeah. So we could move this over here. We could also put the, gen the gravity gen up there, so we're not taking up floor space here. Which I honestly like that idea much better. We can also... Do something with this space. Besides, have it be open. Um, so if we put this up here. I feel like that looks cooler up there like that. Right, gravity generator? Yeah, that looks cool up there. Maybe not here necessarily, maybe off to the side though. Or like far in the back. The problem is I'd like to center it, but you can't. Because then what we can do is like we can have ourselves a kind of walkway here. 
going down the middle. We can also glass this off so that we can't go into the warp drive. Um, and what that does is kind of opens up the space for us. So we're not forced to necessarily put fuel tanks in there. So what we do is... Why is it so, why is it so quiet? Get it. I don't know. That's really frustrating. So... Okay, let's pull this stuff away. Pull it all away. See what, see what else we can do in terms of layout. I do like this being up there. Why the fuck is it so, so quiet, dude? That's annoying. Um, okay, let's put fuel tank back. This grab. You know what? Maybe we can set it. Ooh, we can. Like that, at the end of the room. Okay, you know what, real quick? I'm gonna quit out. I don't know why sound is all fucked up. I mean, I guess it's because we switched out ears, but it shouldn't do this, right? The inconsistency is annoying me. Okay, yeah, so this, this opens up quite a lot of space for us. Um, now we can put the shield gen up above again, like in the center. I think if we did that. Ugh. It won't let us pull it. Oh, there we go. Oop. That doesn't really leave a space for the the for this fella. Okay, the sound bothers me, so we're going to restart the game real quick. Come on, game. Get it together, game. Give us one second, please.
It's still really low. What the hell? Maybe it's, again, maybe it's my headphones? Like, so annoying. No, it's super low. Because the music's fine to me, but not this, the game. Let's hope this fixes it, because man, that's annoying. Spy door. Okay, yeah. Sounds okay now. Okay, not great, but okay. Um, That's annoying because of how huge this fucking thing is. Like, it has to go in the side. Unless we, unless we increase the size of our room here because I would absolutely love to have this in the center and the, the from the top like it makes so much sense for that to be there but we can't fit that there I mean alternatively we can just put this this guy down here Right. Like so. And then this guy can go up here. It just won't be in the center. Which is unfortunate, but um, it gives us it gives us access. Oh, it's upset. You can see caution upside down, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. But it allows us to mess with it from up here. This feels so, 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 so busy. Yeah, it feels, sounds still low for me. I don't, I don't get it. I think we make them both upside down. Let me mess let me mess with this. The Steel Series headset is so annoying because of this connector. Okay, there we go. Sound is okay. Her. Now this allows us to put these guys up along this wall, or this wall. No, we can't because of that. Ooh. So it has to be laid out. Like so. And like so here. Okay, before we put these down, though, we need to figure out where our fuel is going to go. It's probably going to be up here. Oh, now it's loud. The heck? Uh, we need one pentaxid tank and... 
Let's grab a tier two fuel tank and a tier three where you at. Where you at tier three? Thanks. I hate that you can't sort it. I hate that it's out of order. Now we can put a bunch of tier threes down, like so, like just on top. Put two of them. We can pop one there, and actually we can put one of these fellas in there as well. Doesn't need to be on the ground. And so if they want to add another one, they can put one over there. Which should give them a, a crap ton of, of uh, right? They can put one here. Let's actually remove this one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and that allows us to put these things. One on this side, one on this side. Actually, in theory, you could put four. But let's rotate it this way so it looks like they're attached to the wall. Can we put four? We can't put four. We have to put, or we can only put two. Two on this side. Of we can put four here, or two here, one on that side. Let us rotate. I think this is good for now. This is good. If they want to add a third one, then they can. That's up to them. That's all them, sir. All them. Okay, this place is packed. Packed to the gills. Let's seal it up. No. Okay, now let's do living quarter stuff. We could probably taper this down. Actually, before we taper it down, let's um, let's look at the stuff we need to put in here. Uh, we're going to need, let's see, we're going to need personal cargo boxes, clone chamber, food processor, armor lock, yes, um, 
medical. All right, how big is this stuff going to be? Not bad. Medical medic station. Two one one. So these are all relatively decent. That's still decent. That's decent. And these are all good sizes. Okay. So we can we can bring it in. Okay. Do we wall this off? Like so. Oops. Not with those. With those. How many spaces though? Four? Eight? Eight spaces? We don't need that much. So let's see. Let's do food. Or we need a fridge too. Let's put the personal cargo boxes aside for now. Um, so food processor. Let's do fridge first. No. Food processor first. Food. Fridge. Okay, maybe we do need all the spaces. Um, clone. Okay, how, what bed do we use? Do we use a medic station? This just restores health. It doesn't rest, like it doesn't do actual medical stuff. Actually, let's see what we need to unlock. Level 10, so that's doable. But is that too much? Effective against closed fracture, open fracture, mutilation. Like what is what is what's really necessary? Like maybe this one, medical station type one, is all we need. But then we don't have a way to like just heal ourselves. Like we would need multiple ones of these. So it's probably what it is. It's like a you like as you fill out your medical area, you put in more and more of these devices. So we got our wait. That's our clone chamber. Let's get our Let's get this guy out here, which is just the healing joint. Then do we do a medical station type 1 in the middle here? Or is that too much? Let's 
put the armor locker in between. Sure, that works for me. And then what do we put here? The personal cargo? Is that... Mm. I don't know if I like that there. Because we can just put this down here somewhere. Right? Like I was saying, like we put this... Like here instead of these cargo pallets or something. Or here, here's here's an idea. Let's take this up. Let's grab the repair station and this O2 station. So O2 repair. We put these guys here and the O2 station here. That looks good. And then repair station can go there. It's a bit askew from this, but whatever. This feels spacious. Alternatively, we can move this back here and like swap these two out and then descend. No, we can't descend it. We can't bring this down. All right, that's fine. So this is good. Um, Actually, we needed that there, don't we? Yes, we do. But this can be now that. Because this is now our cockpit. How much of this is our cockpit? Is there anything else we need up here? Um, okay, first we need a cockpit CV. We're going to need... Um, human crew. We're probably gonna need decals control unit. Allows to show high decals linked to this device based on its on off state. Oh, okay, we're gonna want some of those. Grab those too, why not? Let's put the captain chair here, maybe. The thing is, the spirit of Amelia doesn't really have a captain's chair. It's got two a pilot seat and a co pilot seat. Um, So like this is a better idea of what's
Problem is we don't actually have a co-pilot seat. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, oh, this is okay. I think we do that. Even though it's a skew. Does this work? Yeah, we can still pilot. No. I don't like it. Especially if it's going to be thin, right, at this point. Um, maybe we should, like, extend this back out. So that we have, so it's, we have more room here. Reload. Okay, I think this is better in terms of this layout. Um, yeah, let's do that. I need all our stuff again. So, uh, clone chamber. Armor locker. Medical devices. Um, fridges and... There we go. Food processor. Okay, cool. Let's put that in this side. Hmm, no. Wait, before we figure that out, let's put these two. Clone station. And we just do the medic station. This should be now be the um a piloting area, the cockpit. There we go. I wonder if this is good here or this side. I feel like this side's better. Maybe here. The way you respawn, except I feel like it's now cramping the respawn, the clone chamber, right? It may be better on this side. Um, this is okay. I figured this is okay. This, this, this. So, you know, you got killed, you come back, get rearmed, maybe eat stuff. But this feels a little bit empty now. Maybe we do this.
Or maybe we do that. Does that feel too cramped? I think that's okay. So then we can move this over here. Right? And then maybe... Maybe we do lockers, personal cargo, here. We do that, and then we put this here, like so. This isn't bad. Could be better. For example, we can do this. The problem is like, yeah, I don't like that. If we do this here like that. And this here, like this. So that doesn't feel right. This thing cramps everything. Like, this feels the best in terms of how they're laid out. But then this guy complicates things by blocking certain... Well, that's not too bad. That's okay. I'm okay with this. Like, this, this, this cramps the food processor. I think we go back to putting them here on the side. So it'd be like this, and like this, sorry, it'd be like this, and like this. Now we can maybe put this guy here, and this guy here, and it won't feel as... Yeah, that feels, that feels okay, that feels much more open. Um... This is definitely very open. Let's seal it up.
Okay, here's what I want to do for this. For the... These guys away. Let's get our cockpits back. Let's get our crew, decal control units, LCD screens. So maybe we do one here like this, one here like this. We also do cockpit three. Oh, I think this is okay. Oh. We're going to need those there because we're going to have, I'm sorry, what? Why are these huge? Okay, that's not going to work. So uh, let's see, one by two, one by one by one frame, no frame. Oh, those are big. Oh, we can't. Can't have them. Because that's taking up space. You actually need one of these? I feel like no. The answer is no. To kind of simulate pilot, co-pilot, navigator. What we can do is put one of these guys here. Or down there. Down here, probably. Like so. Maybe two. That's probably two too much, but hey, whatever. Um, I'm okay with this. How big are these one by ones? Cool, that's good. Um, let's get some glass in here, shall we? Some armored windows L. Okay. What can we do here? Same as before. Slope one by two, thick. Thick. Let's actually put, um, oh, not that's a little large. Well, no, that's still a little large. So we do this. No, that's too flat. Let's angle. Let's get these guys. That's a whole lot of space, though.
No, we don't want that. We want the these guys. Oh wait, even if we use these guys, they won't do anything for us. Why, why is that tinted in the center there, but not the ones on the side? Why? All right, that's fine. Let's um, let's figure out the rest. Uh, stop falling. Uh, these don't have to be like this. Actually, they probably do. Because we won't really be able to lay this down, will we? No. Also, these are... Ah, not the right side. Oh, that's the reason why. It's not the right side. See if they're sticking out. Like, it's clear from this angle, but not the other angle. That's why, that's why. There we go. That's much better. Now they're clear. <sighs> well, good thing we figured that out. This is also upside down. Is that off? I think that's off. Yeah, that's off. There we go. That's correct. Okay, let's do these angled one by ones. Okay, how do we seal these up? Just with these? Can we seal it up with these? No, it's gonna have to be um, these things. Oops, that's... They're on the wrong side. But how can we... Hmm, how can we get them on the...
we can't really get them on the inside. It has to sit in this space. Now, if only there was a block that actually fit this, that'd be so nice. But there isn't. So how can we solve this? I mean, we can kind of with this, with this slope. But it's not really a solution because it has to, it means this cannot exist. Gee, if only the pieces fit together better. I think we're going to have to settle for flat glass here, as opposed to... As opposed to, like, angled down. <sighs> what a shame. Oh, of course. Of course, of course, you can't put it there too. Oh man. Ooh, this might be a solution. Maybe not. This looks ugly. And there's a big giant strut in the way, so nope. Ah, oh, the choices in this game suck. There's this shit, but <laughs> what? Why? Like, in order for us to use these guys, 
You have to go out one more on the top side, on the, on the sides as well. Because that'll allow us to do this, and then put another one here, maybe. Like so. Well, not that. It has to be the other way. Um, oh, we can't. We can't because of the weight angles. So lame. We have to use these guys. But you know what? Alright, that's fine. I like that better than than the the kluji shit that we have down here. So we could also just flatten this, I suppose, which I wouldn't rather not do, but oh well. And then let's put this corner. Nope, not that one. This one. Oop. Um, instead of glass there, I suppose we could put, um, you know what, maybe we can angle this out. Actually, no, I like, I like this view. This is good. Okay, so anyways, so we do this, we do the hat, our favorite hat. There we go. Yeah, that feels pretty substantial, like having a little overhang there. I know it limits our view, but I think it looks good in this regard. Um, this looks tall. I'd like to bring it down, but that's not really possible, is it? I mean, it is possible, we just have to flatten this and put everything on the first floor as it were but then we lose access no we, no, we don't because it's still large enough so yeah maybe we do that let's take this stuff back Extend it out. Like so. Okay.
Right, that feels appropriately cramped. That gives us those little, uh... Yeah, I like these vibes. I think these are good. This feels kind of long, doesn't it? Especially compared to this part. We could... No, we can't. We can't. I was going to say we could try and lower this, but we can't because of this. Actually, we could. What's the... Yeah, we could. This is the one that, that's in the way. So we take this one. Take that one. And this one. So... Uh, repair. O2. Or we put O2 here. It's far, but mm, no. I'd rather it be near the door. Okay, now what we can do here is compress the floor. We just have to rebuild all this stuff. That's okay. Right in the butt. Oh, this comes down. Okay, we're gonna take this guy. Let's do ramp A again and ramp C medium. This takes us down into the cockpit.
We're gonna need to bring this down. And we're gonna need to put... Actually, I think we're okay there. Let's leave that there. This just needs to be this. Ramp C medium. And you just spin it around. Like so. Maybe just ramp instead of ramp C. Now let's do it at ramp C. I think that's good. Um, oh, I know what it should be. <coughs> Excuse me. It needs to be ramp A, like so. Well, I feel like ramp C medium is more inviting, but I think it needs to be this because of the canopy. Okay, let's redo. Let's redo all that canopy, all that glass. We're gonna need to put this. We're gonna need to put this. Oops. Oh, we need to put that stuff back, don't we? The detector and... Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, detector and wireless. Where you at, wireless? There we go. Wireless. Where do you put these two? Here? Sure. I feel like now this is there's this is too too open. We don't have enough like hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's actually put a cargo thing in there. So it doesn't feel quite so crazy like that. That way players can like fill this in with their last one if they want or whatever. Um this feels too not enough or too much. And this feels empty. This feels jarring. That's not what we need. We need this guy. And then upside down ramp C mediums to kind of ease this into this space. So it doesn't feel too cramped right away. 
I think, yeah, this is good. This is good. I like this space, the way this feels. This again feels a little too open. Um, Okay, let's let's complete this. Um, we're gonna need cockpit and stuff yet again. So human crew, actually, that's not a way. Uh, cockpit CV and human crew. Maybe we do one captain chair like this. So three can pilot at any time. This should still be plenty of space, yeah. Okay, good. No, falling. Okay, not bad. I'm okay with that. Let's add our hat. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. You also reverse this by putting these two up front. What am I doing? Oh, I'm in a seat. You know what I mean? Like we're putting these two here. Oh, we can't put them up there. We can put them to this to flank. That should be okay. I don't know. I, I like them where they are. Um. Actually, instead of this, let's do. Oh, dang. Never mind. Actually, yeah, let's keep that there. Anyway, I was thinking about putting this here. Like that. 
If that's a bit much, right? Maybe even if it was here, like this? That feels like a lot. I think we just have to make do like this. It's not perfect, and it's not exactly how I envisioned it, but um, it works. Part of me wants to bring it out more. Like bring the center out, maybe, you know? So the captain's sitting here. And then we can bring these two up forward, or they can stay right there. I don't know. It's not a bad view. Also, I'm not sure if I like this. It feels like the headroom feels a little... A little cramped there. I think it's okay. I think we got no choice. Well, it's not true. What we can do is put one of these here. Like so. And that kind of opens it up a bit more. Yeah. That feels a little bit better. Yeah, okay. I like this setup. I like this layout. Oop. Let's get glass glass so we can glass that off up there. Um, like so. And same on this side. Yep, that looks good. Let's put Hmm. I do dig this. I feel like this is a little empty. What could we put here, though? What could we put here? Probably nothing. Like more medical devices, maybe? Like if we place the clone chamber over this side, for example, we can put more medical devices. Let's look. Let's look at our options. Not bad, right? Necrosis infected wound. Like one of these, maybe? Is that facing the right way? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Does it do anything? Oh yeah, it does. See, the problem with this now is that it kind of dips into the room. But I think that's also okay. We have plenty of space to do what we need to. Maybe we move those into the corners here. Give me your blood. Like hidden away. So fuel. Okay, I think we're pretty good here. We put like a um, force field here, like so. Should probably put one here too. Or we can put a door here, an actual automatic door, like so. Heard any good styles? Door center? Oh, center in the hallway. I like that. Zoop. Ooh, round. That's nice. If only there was a vertical in the center, but that's right. You can deal with this. This is fine. And then this isn't bad. I suppose because of this, we can actually we don't have to have a wall here because of the door. Like that hides that. So how about we take this small O2 tank? Actually, this is fine here. So that, that way people can remove this and put the larger tank right here leaving the ventilator here, but the core should probably be closer here. Oops. Like so. Now, here's what I wonder. Let's look at our CPU stuff. What's our usage? One hundred and thirty thousand. So we're okay with just the one tier one CPU, but I would still like to see how big these all are. So obviously the two is one. It takes one. Uh, six is... Yeah, it takes two. This guy's probably going to be even larger.
Part of me wants to move the wireless connection. Like in here, maybe? So that people have room to put the CPU T3, T4. But I don't know. Okay, let's actually put this detector. Let's move the wireless over to this corner. So this guy goes here, and the detector goes here. Yeah, giving them plenty of room to extend the CPU to a, something outrageous if they need to. Why can't I move? No gravity? Is that what it is? It shouldn't matter, because we... We, this is working, so I don't understand. Oh, maybe because it's on the ceiling? Is that why it's not working? It shouldn't matter, right? Because right now we can't move. Are we weighed down? I don't think so. We have power, oxygen, shield. Yes, I'll, I'll put that on. What's pilot mode? It's active, so don't understand why. Maybe it has to be on the ground. I like how these spins. See, if I turn this off... We can move around normally. Because we're using the... the base's gravity. But in here, our gravity is fucked. Not sure why. At least while power is on. Maybe it is because it's upside down? Should fit. Why, why aren't you fitting? Is it because...
Yep, has to be on the ground. Okay. That sucks. But that means we can do something like this. Calm down, calm down. Oh, this place looks so messy. What? Is it not going to fit? It's only three. Can't put you next to each other, really? Why, why is that? Why? Please deactivate polarized. Oh, okay. So why does the shield interfere with putting down the... You know what? Let's not worry about that too much. Okay, so sticking this in the, sh the... ceiling is problematic. Then let's bring the uh, shield down. Because that could also be problematic. Um, oh, now I have no room to actually maneuver. Okay, that's enough to stay up there. So now we actually have a ton of room, kinda, to put stuff. What do we do with this room? First, let's put one of these down. Let's put both of them down. For now, we can just put them here, um, on this wall. Or how about like this? We do one in this corner, and then one this corner. Kind of to symbolize that they work on this machine over here, and so on and so forth. Or is this just for some random? Because it's always like this. I didn't realize there were different kinds. I actually just want a terminal. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about having a person there. Engineer main station? Wow. This is cool. I like that. Probably not necessary, but hey, looks cool to me. Like, 
I just want the station. You know what I mean? Is that possible? Like, I don't want the actual NPC. I don't want the crew. I don't think it's possible. That's really unfortunate. Right, let's leave that there. If it does something, then it does something. Uh, we actually need a force field there, don't we? Oops. And we need to put these blocks back. Um, since it's a walkway, let's actually make it thin. Like so. We could also have something like extend out this way. I'm okay with that. That needs glass. Oops, not that. This glass. Oh, we can't put glass there anymore. Because we have this block. Unless we put it on the inside. Can we put it on the inside? No. So what do we do here? We switch this out. Or this ramp B. Like so. Cool. That still gives us ramp, uh, catwalk vibes. This also still feels too open. What can we put here? Hmm? What can we put? Like, container? Like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put a cargo box. One of these guys, the pallet things. There we go. That feels rather lived in. Yep. Room for expansion, expansion. Engineering looks nice. Through here for medical food. Uh, is this not? I can't actually access it. This does nothing. Okay, fine. It's fine. Go down here. Hello, hello, hello. Cool. I think we're good on that regard. Uh, we can put guns on, I suppose. No, we need thrusters. 
Arrusters. Where we at? We need small, small, medium, large. Okay. That is one chunky beast. And we can't center it, of course. So if we want to use them, we have to use two. Do we have access to an XL, perhaps? Let's look at unlocks. If we're assuming about level 15, which we need to for the fuel tanks, um, yeah, we need that for the thrusters L too. So we can't do XL thrusters. Oh no, it's unlocked level 20. So if we're going to be 20, we may as well go with... What makes it 20? Oh, ore and wood containers. Okay. Let's undo that then. Let's remove those. That sucks. Because now what are we going to do with this? I suppose what we can do is pull this back over here. Oh, this is a lot of... Well, it's not really a lot. Okay, let's do this. Oof. Let's just take that back. What we can do is reclaim this. That there. Let's put this container controller here. And then our repair console in there. Oop. Although it's kind of weird if you're standing on the thing that you're going to be Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe if we move this. Yes, we do that. This feels organic, right? 
I mean, I know you have to stand on it if you're using this, but if you're using this, you're not using this. And that kind of matters. We could spin this around so it's facing this way. But I feel like if you're going to be using this... Yeah. So that's fine. This now... How do we do this? It can just be space. It could be... A cargo box. Like this. I don't know. This could probably just be open. Or we can put this here just to signify, hey. Right, this could be our our dump box, quote unquote. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be our dump box. Give me one second, gonna take a quick bio break. Right, I think you have a pretty decent layout now. It's not too bad. I like how it kind of constricts a little bit. We have no lights, I realize that. We have no lights at all. I want to install that at some point, but for now we're okay. Um, I like how this dips down too, but this makes it feel weird. I just realized something. This should probably be sitting on there. So what we need is... Two, and then... Like so. Let's get some boarding ramps. How do these work? Two by two by three. All right, let's just put one down and see how it works. Oh, so this sits on the f ground. Interesting. I kind of like that, but that's not... That's not what we're going to do here. Sadly, that would have been much nicer. That's okay. Actually, let's look at this again. One by two by three. I think I don't think any is going to be. 
Yeah, I know. Okay, let's do... Why are you decently sized? What the hell? They're all stupid sized. What the fuck is all this about? Can I get one that's two widths? No? This is just utter bullshit. Like, why would they give us... Okay. Complaint time. Why would they give us two by two doors, but... No two by two ramps. This makes me want to install the this guy. Come on, fit. Thanks. Oh, wrong way. Can you, like, fit, please? Can you, at any given moment, just... There we go. Although it kind of looks weird, like this. Because now this is kind of open. Like this is open. That's, I mean, because it's meant to be in the middle there, rather, rather than out here, which maybe we just do that then? Oh man, it's completely. Close the original design out. I mean, why? Mm. The problem is this, right? Give me a, give me a two wide, not a three wide. You jerks, you fucking jerk asses. Okay, how big can we go? 8 by 6 by 12, which we don't need. 1 by 2 by 3, which might actually fit us well. So what we'd have to do is... Seal this up real quick. We have to put it essentially right here. Seal this up just real quick. Oh, it's two. Oh, man. No, that's fine. Which way does this go? That way. I don't like that at all. I 
I think instead of that, we turn this. What's the smallest shape we got? I think this one, two by two by three. Because three by two by three is too wide. Unless we get rid of this O2 station. This really might be better, to be perfectly honest. Like if we squeezed it in here. Like so. Oop, but facing the other way. Is there an indicator to tell you? Okay, I'm assuming where the caution sign is, is the, yeah. So this part, because there's grip at the bottom, then it goes here. Yes. I don't like that it's open. Both ramp options suck. Now let's put this guy here. Ugh. Awful placement. Awful. Awful placement. Um... Why is that broken? Come on, multi tool. How do we fix this? All right, let's look at our shutter doors again. Can we do a three wide?
Nope, that's a five wide. Okay. Can we do a three by two, not a three by three? This is ridiculous. Why? Why? Why are these ramps like this? All right, instead of shutters, we're going to have to do doors because this is obviously not working for us. Uh, where's your doors at? Automatic doors. We should do armored doors. How wide can we make these? Two by one. Can we make them tall? Armor door centered. Corner. Okay, here's what we can do. We can put... It's just none of these fit together. Like why why do you all have like two by two shuttered doors? Not two by two ramps, you fuckers. What's wrong with you all? Okay, so we do this. We put armored single door. Like so. Seal that up like that. Okay, and this, oh wait, actually let's do, instead of left, we do right. Like this, like so. That way when we do a ramp, Oops, that's not a ramp. When we do a ramp, yeah. Okay, so we need three by two by two. Dude, what a fucking, what a piece of shit. Well, mm, it's got atmosphere in it, of course. Of course it does. Is there a 3 by 4 by Yep, okay, good. Let's use that instead. Now the reality is, the actual airlock in the ship really only was a door, like a sliding door. 
So maybe... We go back to that design. Because there's, you know... There's nothing wrong with it. That's good. So we do... Left single door. Let's seal this up. Like so. Let's also put a wall here. Like so. We could do a proper, quote unquote, a proper airlock. And the inner one can be just armored single glass or just regular. Let's look at. No, not there. Regular automatic doors. Oh, we don't need centered. We need not door corner. There we go. Like so. Okay, and then what we can put here in the corner there is the O2. Where you at, O2? There you at. Can we now put you down? Oh, because... This is a wall that faces. So this is a cube. Ah, oh, we can't do it. That would have been nice, but it's okay. We'll just have to... We'll just do that. O2 here. And let's put in a ramp. We'll do a one by by four by two. Jeez. That feels small. The problem is that that flares out a bit, as you can see, so no, that's not going to work. It has to be flush. 
Um, I like that one best. Now we can put a three. Actually, let's do this first. Put this guy on there. It's like overkill in terms of ramp versus door, but the design choices in this game sometimes are uh, what? Why? Why? I wonder if we set this on the inside. So it's not it's not just out there, you know what I mean? That's not you know what I mean? Like it's inset. Here. I mean like this. Yeah, I would think I'm okay with that. It looks okay. This ridiculousness. The reason why we need this here is because of landing gear. It's not a bad shape. It's just a little thin, but it's okay. Let's add a little uh, shape to this guy over here. This feels like kind of a bu like a bus almost. Um, what if you can shave this off? We can. It gives us a nice rounder. Okay. And I think I'm probably going to stop in a little bit, but I think tomorrow we'll finish up this. It's certainly better than yesterday's attempt. Um, the shape is okay. I'm okay with it. It has all the stuff we kind of need. It's all packed in here. Oop. Room for expansion. Wireless. Like this, this fella takes up so much room. And we're also kind of empty here, which we could do something with, like armor. Armor lockers, maybe. Instead of having the, instead of having it here, we can put it down there. Um, cockpit's okay. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll also do like decoration and stuff tomorrow. Like all the paints and whatnot. Hello, engineer. Honestly, this thing is taking up the most amount of space. And I kind of want to get rid of it. Yeah, we need thrusters too. Um, yeah, we'll do thrusters tomorrow. We'll add... Do we do two of these things? Or do we do like a lot of mediums?
you know, I wonder if you can set this in, you know what I mean? Like, instead of having it stick out, let's take a look. Oh man, gotta mess with this bullshit again. That. I think it looks better tucked in like this, but that's gonna mess with us because we're gonna put like ramps down here and it's gonna completely interrupt the design. I don't think we have much of a choice though. We could also make it. Mm, I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh man, I really wish the ramps were better. Anyways, well, hope you all enjoyed. It's kind of fun doing this. I think I want to extend these out as opposed to these flat ones, or we can like angle them upwards. Mm, I don't know. That feels too navy ish. I want this to be more like a cargo hull hauler. Yeah, I feel like I have to want it to come out more. Use the uh, one by two lengths to extrude them. Because right now they look kind of stubby. It makes this this plane kind of well plain. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and um, you can like get on my YouTube to catch on the VODs that uh, you missed. Like if you missed any streams, you can go on YouTube, um, you know, follow and sub and all that cool stuff, wherever, whichever one you choose, whether it's Twitch or YouTube, and I'll um, catch you all later, right? Peace. Pure, pure, pure.